What's up everybody? It's your boy Will Carter and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Before we go any further, make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. Subscribe, thank you. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon to turn her on so you get alerted each and every time I make an upload. And if y'all wanna check me out off of YouTube, you can follow me on my social media page, Instagram, at I'm Will Carter. And while you're there, you might as well just check out my business Instagram page, at Queens of Garden for all things Queens of Garden and candles. And while we're on the topic, make sure you guys also go to queensofgarden.com so you can shop the winter 2022 collection while supplies still last because he sells sister let me tell y'all something right i am just so excited because the um next collection that i'm working on is really moving forward and i guess maybe it's because i've gone through this once already but this collection is shaping up so much smoother <laughs> this time around because again maybe it's because i've done this already but it's just so much smoother it's not it's still stressful, but nowhere near as stressful in terms of trying to figure things out. Like it took me like, I say one week to really figure out what I wanted to do, the direction I wanted to go in, the ideas that I had in my head, they all like, it really just took like a week. And I'm just so excited because all these things are like really falling into place. Um, some things that I've like have working on the, on the back end are finished and it's being sent to me. It's, I don't wanna say too, too much because reveal. So obviously you guys know, if you don't know, you know now that I get all of my pigments from direct colors. I like to use direct colors because their pigments are specifically made to color concrete and like cement and all that bullshit like that, right? But you have people who like to use like acrylic paints and stuff like that. And while it's okay to use, they're not made for coloring concrete. Um, again, you can still use all those things. I just like to use things for what they're actually intended for. So that's why I use direct colors. Not only that, like when you're working with acrylic paint to color your vessels, you really have no control over like what color the vessel is going to come out, right? Because you know, like it's really hard to gauge how much you're using each time measuring wise. And also like the color of the cement alters the color of the paint. So if you're using like a blood red, you know, acrylic paint, your vessel's not coming out that color. Here's the problem. The problem is the red colors doesn't have purple pigments. And I was like, okay, I don't wanna go somewhere else. I get my stuff in the red colors. That's what I like right now. And I'm just not really in a space where I wanna start exploring other options just yet. Let me just use what I know works. But since I'm a smart bitch, I was like, okay, if I can't find purple pigments at direct colors, couldn't I just make purple pigments? I got, um, red pigment from direct colors um this is the number 121 but it's called lava if you're going by the name um this is the lava and i got this blue one which is number 203 but it's called persian blue on their website so i got these two come on i got these two and i figured this looks pretty blue and this looks pretty red so if we mix these two together i should get um pretty purple yeah i've never mixed pigment before so I don't really know how this is gonna come out, but I figured if we're gonna actually try this, why not get on camera? So I haven't done this before. I have not made a purple vessel before. I don't know if it's gonna actually come out purple. I don't know if I'm gonna like the shade of purple. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen, but we're gonna find out today together. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump on over and we're gonna start making a fucking vessel, bitch. Let's go over. Okay, y'all, first and foremost, it's a fucking mess, obviously, because I stopped using that blanket because I realized that this is just gonna be like my work table. So fuck if it gets messy or not. I still have been using the vibrating machine. She's cheap as hell, bitch, because as you can see, this came the fuck off and I've only had this shit for less than a week, so. I wanna start everything out by um, telling you about my new numbers. I think before I was using 9.5 or nine ounces, I think I'm using nine ounces, um, but I've actually reduced the numbers. I'm only using 8.93 ounces of cement. That's what I'm using. I'm using 0.37% of the of pigment. And for the water, I'm using um, 2.51 ounces. And that's for the vessel. So those are my new numbers. It's actually less than what I was using before. For the lids, they also reduce. I'm using uh, 4.13 ounces of cement. I'm using 0.17 ounces of pigment. 
and I'm using uh, 1.16 ounces of water. So keep in mind, I said this before, these numbers only apply if you're using pigments. If you're not using pigment, your numbers will be different. So since I'm going to be making purple, I figured you might as well just like go half and half and half of 37 is 18.5, but I'll probably just bring it to 18. It doesn't really make a difference to me if it's half an ounce off. So that's what we're gonna do. Just because I want you guys to see everything happening, I'm just gonna measure everything out separately. These cups are all reusable, so I don't really mind. So let's start with the lava. This is the best bag the red colors have ever given me, because normally they packaging is fucked up. So here's 18 for this one. I'm gonna try to match that as close as possible. I don't really mind if it comes a little bit higher. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Actually, this blue one, the consistency of this blue pigment seems a lot different than the, the consistency of the red one. That's interesting. The vessel, I'm gonna just take her and pour straight in there. As you can see, definitely is looking more red. And I'm gonna just um, mix it like I always do. I never do a deep mix, y'all. I just do like a quick one, two, mix, blend, boom. So I mentioned in the last video that I love to use these plates because it allows me to move them around a lot. Here's the thing, y'all. I did try this without the plates and it actually worked pretty well. I still have to tap it. So I think the machine works if you're not using anything kind of like blocking the vibrations to the vessel, to the mold, and also still tapping it. I know probably you're thinking like, okay, well then what's the entire point of this if you're gonna tap it anyway? I do feel like I do tap less because I'm using this, um, but I still use it anyway. I'll only fill it up to like a certain point, and then I will move it onto here and then try to be really careful with like making sure that it's like kind of like nice and stable in the center in the middle and then I pour the rest in and then I move it. The reason why I do that is because if you fill it up and you grab it, you're more than likely just gonna squeeze it and squish it and it's really hard to, you know, pick it up like this because you know, it's always just gonna slide. And I don't even really use this anymore to be honest. So if it's only filled to a certain level and you pick it up and it squeezes, yeah, it will kind of squeeze, but it won't like overlap or anything. And then once you pour it in and it's gonna be good because you don't want it to make any issues on this last pour because then you won't get those smooth bottoms. I can't wait to see if this comes out purple. I'm so excited. Okay. Right now it's looking blue as hell. So I just put it in and again, y'all, it was even colors. That looks super, super blue. So let's see if it works. Okay, I, I see blue. I'm not, oh wait, no, I kind of think I see purple a little. Okay, actually, I feel like it's tinting purple a little bit, but it's definitely more blue than anything. And it could be because maybe the red kind of set at the bottom. I definitely see some red in there. So let's, let's try it again, guys, but I'm definitely seeing more blue. Okay, y'all, I don't see purple, I only see blue. I think that blue pigment is just too powerful. Maybe I gotta do like more of the red than the blue. Like maybe 50-50 didn't work. Oh, bitch, this is so fucking blue. And the funny thing is I can see tints of that red in there. Okay, I guess it's, oh no, actually, no. No, I think that's purple. Okay, no, actually that does kind of look purple to me. We gotta see. Okay, y'all, this is fucking blue. Like, it's not fucking purple. I'm telling you, I'm looking at that and it's not purple. So I'm gonna actually do something that I probably shouldn't fucking do, but I'm gonna fucking do it anyway because I don't really give a shit. 
I'm just curious, because again, this is all experimenting. I'm gonna actually take a little bit of this. I'm not even gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna take like a little bit of this and put it in there and see what happens. Now I get purple. I have fucking purple. I'm not surprised in the slightest that I'm having this issue. So what happened is the cement actually thickened up so much and that's because I added so much more pigment. So again, guys, what I mentioned before is once you start adding numbers and you start changing everything, then you know, it, it changes the entire vessel. So now I have to kind of play around and add some water so I can get my consistency back. Like a complete disaster, first of all. Mostly because the blue and the red did not blend the way that I thought it was going to. Definitely gave me some issues. This did not really... I mean, I feel like this can work if like the numbers are accurate, right? So the numbers were definitely off because I had to add some pigment in there. So that became a little bit of an issue. So I already know that this one's not going to work. Like that we know for a fact. This one is definitely not gonna work. It's definitely gonna come out the wrong color. I think I'm just gonna make it just like this just to see how it comes out. And I'll probably just use this as a tester vessel and this would be like the tester lid for it because I've already made it. There's nothing else I can really do. So I'm just gonna make it and then just like see how it comes out. Might as well, right? Okay, y'all, it is officially part two of the train wreck that is known as the purple candle vessel. <laughs> Before I dive deep into what happened and what went wrong, I'm just gonna show you guys the results, okay? So the one I made on camera, this is how it came out. I'm kind of like extremely confused. Clearly it did not come out purple. It ended up coming out blue and you just see a bunch of random red like streaks in there it's just very strange the bottom came out looking ridiculous and I, I kind of know why this happened it's because as I was saying before once like all the numbers have to like be perfect or you don't get like a good smooth pour especially towards the top because it starts cement all starts to harden really quickly so you got to be quick so I decided that I was going to reduce the numbers of the blue and increase the numbers of the red because I use four percent of pigment so I figured instead of using two and two percent I'll use three percent for the red and one percent for the blue and see how that turned out this is the 3% red, 1% blue, and it still didn't turn out good. So it's, I mean, you it's more purple than the other one, but um, even the bottom just, I don't know why it came out like that, but it's it's blue. And even the lid, like the lid, it gives purple-ish-ish. -ish. And then it's totally blue on the bottom, which is like extremely weird. So I don't know why the colors are acting like that. When you're using pigments, your numbers are going to change. And I don't mean that just because you're now adding pigment and it's like another, you know, addition to your mixture. So, you, you know, it, it, I mean, it's partially that, but it's also because pigments really change the consistency of your mixture so fucking much. And what I had discovered now that I've worked with so many different colors from direct um, colors, um, each pigment actually changes the, um, your batter in a different way, which is very strange. So I'm not sure because I use them together if it's the lava or if it's the Persian blue that's affecting the mixture. I'm really not sure um, who the culprit is. I would have to use them individually and see how they act on their own. They just do not blend well together. And I don't know if it's gonna be like this with every you know combination of pigments, but these two together just did not mix well together, clearly so. I just remembered something. I just remembered, like, wait a minute. Didn't Nancy from Earth Safe Finishes send me purple pigment? And I was like, oh my gosh, she fucking did. So when I ordered the Earth Safe Finishes sealer, I think I ordered the sealer first and then I went and got the varnish, whatever the fucking case was. I got it and in one of those packages, she sent me a whole bunch of samples um, of a bunch of different other products. And I've always kind of ignored them because as I mentioned earlier in this video or yesterday's portion of the video, I don't like really working with liquid pigments. Maybe I should give it a try. I really want a fucking purple vessel and I'm gonna get my fucking purple vessel. I do not fucking care so 
We're gonna do this one last time. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try to make another vessel and we're gonna try to get purple, but this time we're gonna use the Earth Safe Finishes pigment. Let's transition over and see if I have better luck this time. Come on. All right, y'all, we're gonna try this again. Let me get everything. I've already measured everything out already, so we don't have to really worry about doing that whole thing again. Um, I'm not sure if I sh when I should put this in. Should I put this in the water first? Or you know what, I'm gonna mix everything first and then I'm gonna put her in there. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna try maybe doing like two drops of this and uh, seeing like what happens. So I'm gonna just do two drops. Oh, that was not two drops, bitch. Oh gosh. Oh! I don't think it's working, y'all. So as you can see, it did not work out. I don't want to move it too much because it didn't it didn't mix it. It didn't give me the color. I mean, you can clearly see it's like, okay, let me move it closer, y'all. As you can see, it did not, you know, it didn't, it didn't mix. Like, look at that. No, the pigment did not work out, bitch. No, you know what, we're gonna try something else. Okay, since that didn't really work out, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try mixing this in the water first. And I feel like that water is not purple enough, so I'm just gonna put a few more drops in there. Okay, so that looks way better in terms of like blendation. Not a word, but it looks way better. I probably should have used like much more pigment than that, honestly, but let's see what happens. I'm gonna move it closer so you guys can see it a little bit. Girl off the plate. It definitely did not blend the way that I wanted it to. Like, I wanted a full blendation, and it didn't do that. I definitely did not get the blend that I wanted, for sure. You know, it just didn't really produce the results I wanted. I gotta drop my numbers, because that's too much. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely not happy about that. I will say this, though. It definitely uh, blended way better than the vessel did. This one is the... Um, lid or I mixed the pigment in the water and then added in the um then added in the cement even looking here you can see like swirls of like the pigment color in there and you definitely see it there but this one definitely blended better um I know I'm not going to be happy with the results because I'm looking at the fucking color hoe and I don't fucking like it so um I'm gonna let these um dry for two hours and I'm gonna demold them and then we'll, we'll take a look and then we'll see what we're gonna do in the future with this purple vessel because this is not working out for her. Sister? Okay y'all, it's a little after one o'clock in the morning and it's been a long motherfucking day and I'm fucking tired. Definitely did not come out. I mean, what the fuck happened? This is why I don't like, I'm not sure what the fuck happened to be honest. I'm like, ooh, bitch. Now the funny thing is I really, <laughs> I really like the color, right? I feel like if this would have like came out the way she was supposed to, I would be very, very happy with the color. Um, but yeah, I'm not happy with the way this came out. Like this is not okay. I do not like all that. I feel like someone out there is gonna be like, oh, that is so cute. It looks like it's so unique and abstract art. Well, it's not <laughs> Queens of Garden abstract art, bitch. I did it again. I made another one because I wanted to see, okay, you know, I always have to try like more than once because you never know. Was it a mistake? Was it a fluke? What happened, sister? So I decided to try it again. 
And then this is how it came out. So you guys can see the difference between the two. With this one, I actually mixed the liquid pigments in the water first and then added the concrete, um, the rapid steel cement or whatever. And um, it came out a lot better. I am most definitely not filming another fucking concrete vessel video for this fucking purple color. So if you guys want to stay updated on the results, well, you've got one or two options. You can go follow me on Instagram at I'm Will Carter because all my stories, I'm always posting about my candle making stuff. And also you can just stay tuned for the next collection drop because if the purple makes it in the collection, you know it fucking worked. So we'll see what happens. And now that we are here at the end of this video that took two fucking days to film, bitch, Thank you guys so much for watching and <laughs> bearing with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit that bell notification icon so you get alerted when I upload. Check me out on my Instagram pages at I'm Will Carter and also my business Instagram at Queens of Garden. Go to queensofgarden.com and shop the Wicked 22 collection while supplies still last because he sells so you may not have any candles left to buy. So make sure you get it while supplies are lasting. We still have the uh, Black History Month still going on so don't miss her. And with that all being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful good morning, beautiful good night, beautiful good afternoon. That was so backwards, but you get what I'm saying. Whichever part of the world you were in, bye-bye. I'll see you guys on the next video.